Well, all I remember, all I remember when I was a kid, I draw a lot. I love to draw. I scribble, actually. I will find anything to draw, even on the wall of my house as well. I was really get a big time <laughs> with my parents. Uh, anyway, I was I like to go to movies. The only movie theaters in my town, Pontian. It's a very small town in Johor. Almost every day after school, I would go and see movies. And I, go, I can go there anytime I want because my uncle is a ticket teller. So definitely I get him free. And I would go back home, I would draw, I make a storyboard. I would show to my friends who have that, don't have that opportunity like me, okay? So I tell them the story with a storyboard. I keep going, I always want to be, I'm very good at it. I just to tell you that I'm really good at the drawings. Even in school also, when art period is my period, you know, I'm the, the hero there, the champion. <laughs> I will, I'll, in fact, I will be the one who will be running around in class looking at other people who and start commenting, <laughs> seriously. I, I will do mural for the school, I have the art club and things like that. When I, when I was 13 years old, and I traveled at that time, I still want to travel and see new things again. Okay? I asked 10, 10 ringgit from my father, I want to go to Penang. That was back in 1964. I hitchhiked all the way from Penang, from Johor. It took me seven days to get to Penang. Anyway, so something new, you know, to go to Penang at that time. When I was 17 years, old, 17 years old, when I finished my senior Cambridge, or what you call my SPM, I went, to, I went to Kelantan. I finished my SPM, my senior Cambridge, I asked 20, 20 ringgit for my dad. I stayed there for three months with 20 ringgit in Kelantan. It was back in 1967. And then I went back to Johor. I stranded in Kuala Lumpur. I became a street artist. And then somebody asked me whether I want to have a job. I said, of course, I like illustrator for a book publishing firm. So I worked there for two years. Then I got another job in Penang. I went to Penang. That's where I met my wife. I came back to care in 1977. I worked at RTN, Radio Television Malaysia. Uh, for a couple of years, and I got my uh, grant uh, or loan, government loan, to do my studies, graphic design, in the States. I went to Virginia, uh, George Mason University in America. Then I continued my master's uh, in Washington, D.C. for my uh, fine arts. So I did graphic design, also fine art. I came back in 1984, and uh, I was with UITM, the teaching staff, for 26 years. So I retired 2006. Now I'm kind of like a full-time artist. Like become ritual, you know, becomes very spiritual, yes. Because it's, it really cooled me down. What I mean is, my mind is like, you know, I think a lot, too much. I think about everything, you know. Even sometimes I hate to read papers, seriously to tell you the truth. I don't, sometimes I don't, 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 don't want to know about the world going on, sometimes, sometimes. Become very sensitive. So I, a lot of things, you know. So when all these things, I let it go by painting, you know. And he will like, yeah, he will cool me down, seriously. He will cool me down. I always tell myself, if I don't paint, I don't want it to happen to me. So the one reason I put up this gallery is to create that awareness. So I think it's very important to let the people know, huh? the community. A lot of 
of students all over, even from the secondary school. So they came bus load, come over here. So it's the kind of things that I want to do also at the same time, paint and then to educate the public huh, to look at uh, the arts now.